you might assume that all animals have veins and arteries to transport blood just like humans do but in reality many animals including cockroaches use completely different system so in this video we are going to explore the circulatory system of cockroach periplanata americana so let's begin as we learned in the previous part of this series that unlike humans cockroach do not have a hollow body cavity instead they have a fluid filled cavity this fluid filled cavity is called hemocoel all the internal organs of a cockroach are suspended in this hemocoel you can imagine it like a spacious internal chamber where organs float freely in a fluid but this hemocoel isn't just one big open space rather it is divided into three compartments and these compartments are called as sinuses so at the top you can see a sinus called as pericardial hemocoel or the dorsal sinus which surrounds the heart in the middle lies the perivisceral hemocoel or middle sinus where the digestive organs are located and at the bottom lies the perineural hemocoel or the ventral sinus which encloses the nerve cord these three sinuses are separated by a thin muscular sheet known as diaphragm each diaphragm has valvular pores that help regulate hemolymph flow diaphragm between the pericardial sinus and perivisceral sinus is called the dorsal diaphragm while the diaphragm between the perivisceral sinus and perineural sinus is called the ventral diaphragm the fluid circulating within these hemocoel is called the hemolymph and this is essentially the cockroach's blood it is colorless fluid as it lacks the pigment like hemoglobin present in our blood and therefore this hemolymph is not capable of transporting the oxygen however the main function of the hemolymph is to transport nutrients hormones and collect the waste products so let's now see how the blood is circulated in cockroach's body so in humans we know that heart pumps the blood and this blood flows within the network of tubes or the blood vessels at all times and never leaves them the heart and the blood vessels form a continuous network which do not allow the blood to come in contact with the tissues therefore such a system is called a closed circulatory system but cockroaches are different the blood or the hemolymph is not confined to the blood vessels instead after leaving the heart it flows openly into the hemocoel as there are no specific vessels guiding its flow so the blood comes in direct contact with the surrounding tissues and therefore such a system is called an open circulatory system but then the question arises how the blood moves through the body without the vessels being present so the cockroach has a long tube like heart this heart runs along the dorsal midline of its body it's not just a hollow tube rather this heart is segmented and has 13 chambers three chambers are present in the thorax region while 10 chambers are present in the abdominal region each chamber has a small valve like openings which are known as ostea unlike the human heart that beats in a rhythmic pattern the cockroach's heart use wave like movements such wave like contractions are called as peristaltic contractions 
which are pushing the fluid as a bulge and then pushed forward. These peristaltic contractions are generated by a pair of alary muscles which are present in each segment. These alary muscles are triangular shaped muscles. The broader end of these muscles are attached to the pericardial diaphragm while the pointed end of these muscles are attached to the turgum. When these muscles contract, they gently expand and compress the heart. Now, as you can see, these are the osteas, which are the fine openings present in the heart. Now, with each contractions, the hemolymph enter through the ostea and move forward towards the head from the back. Hemolymph finally reaches into the aorta. This aorta opens directly into the head. Once in the head region, the hemolymph is released into the hemocele and flows freely around the organs. Apart from the alary muscles, there are a pair of lateral body muscles in each segment. These muscles upon contraction presses the body cavity, pushing the hemolymph through the open spaces in the hemocele. Eventually, it returns the hemolymph to the pericardial sinus near the heart, ready to begin the cycle again. As a result, the hemolymph reaches all the organs of the body. So, the circulation in cockroach is low pressure. It doesn't require the high pressure generated by heart as is done in case of humans. So, this low pressure mediated circulation conserves energy and support the survival of cockroach. So, let's quickly recap what we learned. Cockroaches have an open circulatory system. Hemocele is the fluid-filled body cavity called as sinus. Hemocele is divided into three sinuses, pericardial, perivisceral and perineural. Hemolymph is also known as cockroach blood which is colorless and lacks hemoglobin. Hemolymph transports nutrients, hormones and removes waste. Oxygen is not carried by the blood. The cockroach heart is 13 chambered, lying along the dorsal midline. Blood enters the heart through ostea and is pushed forward by peristaltic contractions. Contractions are mediated by a pair of alary and lateral body muscles. Circulation is low pressure, conserving energy and supporting survival. In a sense, the cockroach's circulatory system is not just different, it's perfectly evolved for the survival. So, in our next video, we'll uncover how oxygen is transported without blood through a completely separate respiratory network.